Hello all, today we are going to tell you about Mount Fuji of Japan, the world's most elegant looking mountain. So welcome to yet another episode of Amazing World, where we show you the most amazing things all over the world and also the universe. In this video, we will tell you about Mount Fuji, some amazing facts about it, its exact location, its origin, the history of ascent to the summit of Mount Fuji, why it is considered to be sacred, why it is said to be the three volcano in one, history of its eruption, and a lot more. So stay tuned. Imagine a beautiful landscape painting with deep blue sky, cherry blossom flowers, and at the backdrop, an elegant looking snow clad mountain. Yes, this is how Mount Fuji looks like, and it is often depicted in famous drawings, Japanese paintings, and Japanese artworks. One such famous painting is the woodblock print by Katsushika Hokusai, called the Great Wave of Kanagawa. Considered to be Japan's sacred symbol and the highest point of Japan, the Mount Fuji is located in the island of Honshu, which is about 60 miles west of Tokyo Yokohama metropolitan area. This cone shaped, snow topped volcano was granted the title as a UNESCO World Heritage Site on June 26, 2013 and is a major feature of the Fuji Hakone Izu National Park. Standing tall 3,776 meter high, it is the tallest mountain in Japan and perhaps the most graceful and elegant looking mountain on the planet. Mount Fuji is surrounded by five lakes, with Lake Kawaguchiko being the most easily accessible of the Fuji five lakes. Most of the Japanese folks came across the sacred mountain after 1600 when Tokyo became the capital of Japan and people began traveling by the Eastern Sea Route, which was called Tokaido in Japanese. A classic example of basaltic strato volcano, it was born from the base of Mount Kumitake about 100,000 years ago. The first ascent to the top of Mount Fuji was by a monk in 8663, and the first ascent by a foreigner was by Sir Rudolf Ford Alcock in 1868. In the present day, it is one of the favorite spots for hikers, but that doesn't mean it is easy to climb, as it is very steep and many have lost lives climbing this mountain. Climbing Mount Fuji is only permitted during the period in which trails are open in the summer. There are four main trails leading up to the summit of Mount Fuji, the Yoshida, Fujinomiya, Subashiri and Gotemba Trail, and the peak season for climbing this beautiful mountain lasts from late July to late August. The view from the top of Mount Fuji would indeed be magical. As much as the mountain is famous among the hikers, it is the same for tourists from all over the world. Even though Mount Fuji is still considered to be active, it last erupted way back 1707. It was the last and the biggest eruption of Mount Fuji on December 16, 1707, triggered by an earthquake and lasted up to February 24, 1708 and is famously known as the Hoi eruption. So why is Mount Fuji a sacred symbol of Japan, with temples and shrines located around and on the volcano? It all goes back to the indigenous faith or spirituality native to Japan, called as the Shinto. Mount Fuji has been a sacred site for those who practice Shintoism since at least the 7th century, with an entire series of shrines called Sengen Shrines at the base and summit of Mount Fuji, it is truly a perfect spot for a spiritual journey as well. The mountain contributes to Japan's physical, cultural and spiritual geography. Wondering how a mountain could be this perfect and beautiful? All the credit goes to over two generations of volcanic activity, turning the old Mount Fuji into the current Mount Fuji, the symbol of Japan. The present-day mountain is a composite of three successive volcanoes. At the bottom is Kumitake, which was surmounted by Go Fuji, which means Old Fuji, and finally by the most recent Shin Fuji, which means New Fuji. And that is the reason why Mount Fuji is said to be three volcano in one. There is no doubt to the fact that Mount Fuji is Japan's best attraction, a natural wonder and a landmark symbolizing Japan, 
At Mount Fuji, the sunrise, sunset, night sky, everything becomes more beautiful with the presence of this enchanting mountain. But if you want to experience the beauty of Mount Fuji in all its glory, it's best to visit the place in the month of April when the cherry blossom blooms. If you love traveling and crave for adventure, Mount Fuji definitely needs to be in your bucket list. So have you ever visited Mount Fuji or are you planning to visit the place? Do let us know by leaving a comment below right now.